Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I have for you the same shirt I had in the last video because I'm filming two for one. There is no shame in that game. I have for you today the Summer 2021 collection from Morgan Taylor. And I actually already showed you guys swatches of this collection. But when I was filming the YouTube video, I smashed this polish against the floor, made a mess. So if you follow me on Instagram, you already saw all, all of that. And so the collection was sent to me by Morgan Taylor for review, but I actually bought this replacement from Polish Pick and I had to wait for the polish to arrive before I could do the video because I had already taken my swatch pictures, but I hadn't done the live swatch or any of that. So you might have already seen the swatch pictures for these. So now you get the live swatches. And also for whoever follows me here and doesn't have me on Instagram, now you have everything here. So let's get into the swatches. This is a short video because it's just six polishes and that's it. We'll talk about final thoughts at the end. First up we have It's My Moment and this one, the formula was a little bit complicated for me. It was streaky in the first coat. I'm trying to look here in my notes. Um, and then the second coat was opaque, but I could still see some streaks. So I had to go in for a third one. Now this color is like a pastel almost neon in a way it photographs and shows on video a lot more tamer is that a word like it's tame but it's not in real life in real life it feels very like bright in a pastel kind of way like if a pastel could be a neon that's what this would be but the formula is a little bit whatever you know i'm used to morgan taylor creams being extremely easy to apply and buttery and this one feels a little bit more like on the chalky cream side but I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I hope you guys can see it on the live swatch. But it did take three coats for me to get completely even. Um, now, if you're not picky and it's not for pictures, you know, you can wear it in two and go. But for the picture, I had to do three because you could still see imperfections after two. So just keep that in mind. All right. Next up, we have Orange Crush Blush. And this one is like a coral or salmon type of color. Uh, it was opaque in two coats. And this one, just like the previous one, dries a little bit matte. Like it's not the full on matte, but it's a little bit dull, like somewhere in the middle, like demi matte, where it's not really completely matte, but it's not glossy. So you are gonna need glossy top coat for this one and the previous one, which I forgot to mention when I was talking about that other one. Gorgeous summer color, no complaints here. Very, very beautiful. And this one didn't require three coats for me. So that was good. All right, next up we have Spinning Me Around, and this pink is driving me crazy, you guys. Out of all the collections that I've seen come through my desk, this, oh my god, is showing pretty accurate in the picture, but I'm also going to show you guys a lo-fi version of it because it's very, very bright, and sometimes the cameras cannot pick that up properly, but this, I was wearing it on my toes until like yesterday. I have recommended this to people so many times. It is fantastic the formula is great the color is gorgeous it's straight up pink no undertones no nothing it's just the you know neon summer pink it is fantastic this this pink oof i have it in my brain like <whistles> i will not forget this one and i know it's weird because it's just a pink and you could be like oh there's a million pinks but i don't know why this one's so so good i love it all right next up we have into the line light and this is the color that i broke all over my floor trendy trendy summer color these greens i am not sure if this is lime or chartreuse or both feels a little bit more lime i don't see as much yellow here to like pull it in, in chartreuse you know but definitely on that neighborhood of greens um very beautiful very summery opaque and two coats as you know i have here in my notes um no complaints whatsoever on this one really really love it all right i have some notes on this one this one's keeping it cool and the base feels like a dusty denim blue maybe doesn't feel summery it feels springy because i was saying on my instagram i don't really think of blues as a fall color you know uh, and it does have like some very micro tiny flakes of some sort so for this one when you do coats that are too thin it feels like the details in the polish drag the base a little bit but if you do them a little bit thicker, you don't get that feeling, you know, in the application. But it was opaque in two coats and it was actually gorgeous. I wore this one um, the other day for like two, three days and it was really, really nice. It feels weird. It's weird. I don't even have a dupe for this in my collection. Like when you wear it, it's just, it feels unique, you know? So I think this was a nice addition to my collection. I'm glad I have it, but it is a little bit weird. You know, the details are like silver. Um, so yeah, it gives me like weather, weather vibes. Like if this was a weather 
theme collection, this will fit right in, you know? All right, last but not least, we have All Day, All Night, and this one, it's like a magenta, is this, that's what, that what it, this is? Feels magenta, fuchsia type of thing, and it has like a shimmer, a silver, but it's not the same type as the one in the blue, and this color, you guys, this has one of the best formulas I've come across. Like, I never swatch polishes at one coat. For me to swatch a polish and take a picture of it at one coat, it means that I'm trying to show you guys a point. Like, I think I have over 2,000 posts on my Instagram, and I think I have posted a swatch for you guys at one coat. Like, doesn't even reach five times. This is one of those. Fantastic formula. Oh my God, it is beautiful buttery self levels extremely opaque zero need for a second coat i don't remember um on my swatch video i did two coats but probably not i i think i probably left it at one because this was that good very very impressive formula on this one all right now that we have seen all of them i'm gonna pick a favorite and it has to be the pink this is no secret i have been raving about this pink for a long time on my instagram and my stories telling people where are my toes where are my hands this is fantastic honorable mention to the formula of this other pink now even though this is not a color i normally would pick out of you know a shelf or wear the formula is just off the charts like it needs an honorable mention and then the green you know guys i love it and the blue is great and the other two are good too but this three i think are higher up there for me um but the, you know they're all good quality except this one the formula on this one was a little bit like but the color is beautiful, so if you don't mind doing the three coats or even just wearing two without it being totally, totally perfect, then you'll be fine. That's it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Let me know below if you have any questions. And again, thank you, Morgan Taylor, for sending this to me. I don't think Morgan Taylor watches my videos, but if anybody does, thank you. <laughs> I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye!